Hi, my name's Brett Clark, and I've been a commercial chef for over 26 years. Welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make some rice paper rolls with some chicken and some fresh vegetables. You can do it either way, you can leave the chicken out, but I just thought I'd add the chicken in there because I know some people do like to have a little bit of protein. So let's get cracking. Okay, so first things first, I've got my chicken breast here. I'm using a thigh fillet for this, and um, I'm just gonna marinate it up a little bit. And of course, I've got some garlic and ginger here. I've got some um, Thai dressing, and I'm gonna marinate the vegetables in once I actually cut it all up. Um, I've got some sesame oil here, I'm gonna mix with the garlic and the ginger, and marinate the chicken. Um, onion, celery, cucumber, carrot, avocado, capsicum, a bit of lettuce, and a bit of bean sprouts as well. Up here, got some mayonnaise, trusty mayonnaise you could have with the with the rice paper rolls as well. So to start with, clean the chopping board, get my thigh fillet. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna score these just on the other side, just so even cooking. Just crisscross cross like that, turn it over. The reason I'm doing this is I want it to cook nice and even. Um, of course the thigh being a little bit thicker. I'm gonna throw that in there, in here, get rid of this chopping board. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add some garlic. And I'm gonna add some ginger as well. Also, I'm gonna add some sesame oil, just a little bit. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Give that a little bit of a toss. This will be awesome flavors. And what I'm actually gonna do is, how I'm gonna cook this is, uh, usually I do this in a pan, but I want it to stay nice and crispy. I want it to get nice flavors through it. So I'm gonna either cook it in the pan, but another easy way for this to, to actually be cooked is the air fryer. Turn my air fryer on. I'm just going to put my pieces straight in on top. Straight in the air fryer. And I'm going to cook that for about 10 minutes. So meanwhile, while I'm waiting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start soaking my rice paper roll. And that's just soaking in some hot water. And then I'm going to put it onto here, and then of course do this. But I'll, I'll cut my vegetables up first, okay? So another pan right here. I'm gonna cut my onion. Now because the onion's oval, I'm gonna follow and I'm gonna cut around and I'm gonna follow the shape of the onion as well. Don't be afraid to turn it back over. And follow that down. Okay, done. Beautiful. Take that onion, put that in there. Here's my celery. Now, because our rice paper rolls are going to be about that big, you don't really want to have them too long. So I'm going to cut this in half by this. Okay. I'm going to turn it over. I'm actually going to cut down here into nice. Just like that. Okay. Same with the cucumber. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the seed out. So, cucumber, again, I'm just going to cut it into little strips like this. Now with the capsicum, straight down like that. We're only going to need two sides. Okay. Take the membrane out. And we're just going to. Right, so, 
carrot, again, you want to cut that straight down there. Now, easy way for carrot, just cut one of the bases off just so you can lay it flat on the chopping board. And what we're going to do is just cut it down like this. Beautiful. Take this chicken, just gonna put in this bowl over here. Look how tender that is. It smells absolutely magnificent as well. So I've got all my ingredients ready for uh, making the rice paper rolls and I've set it up in a way that um, this is great for the kids to actually come along and they can actually roll their own, pick the ingredients out that they want, make up their own rice paper roll and um, have a bit of fun with it. So, now I've had one soaking. So, straight out. Now, I'm gonna spread this out onto the board. I'm gonna go a little bit of lettuce leaf. Tear it apart. I'm just going to lay this straight across the centre here. Now you can choose to put more rice noodles in it if you want. Not what I've chosen for this one. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. <coughs> rice noodles are a good alternative. Yeah, hardly any fat in them whatsoever. I've also got another one here rolling. So I want to take that one out. I'm going to add another one in here to soak. They usually take about two to three minutes to soak. Okay. I'm going to add some cucumber and celery as well. I actually said that around the wrong way. Add some capsicum right through the roll. Now what I did with the onion before was I said that there was some Thai dressing there. I actually marinated these onions in the Thai dressing and it cuts the um, the, the peppering out of the out of the onions and makes them really really sweet and really and to eat. So put that there, bit of a little carrot, straight along there. Put some sprouts, add some sprouts in as well. Love the mint leaf in there as well, the mint leaf just helps cut through everything. A bit of avocado. By this time I'm adding a little bit of mayonnaise as well. Just squeezing that mayonnaise in there. And we're gonna put chicken in this one. You don't need much. Just need enough to just go over there. So that's pretty much it. You've got the nice roll ready to roll. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the sides in. And we're just gonna encapsulate it. Fold the sides in. Fold the sides in again. And we're gonna fold this in. And this is where you actually squeeze it tight. And just roll. He's gonna break on you, so don't be afraid. And tuck that in. There you have it. Nice, you don't need too many of them. And I'll roll the rest of these and get them ready. Cheers. So here you have it, rice paper rolls. Uh, some of the kids can make and enjoy themselves and um, 
really get involved in the, in the experience. I love the dressing, sorry.